While Parliament was in full swing inside of the National Assembly, outside government supporters were protesting the opposition voting down of a bill and a motion which would have helped pave the way for the Amala Falls Hydro Project. While the government were having their say, opposition supporters of the APNU joined the picket line in a face-off with the PPP supporters. They believe that Parliament should debate the implementation of the largest project in the history of this country. The opposition parties are calling for more transparency, but the government is defiant, saying that the project is good for Ghana and will ease those expensive electricity rates. PYO executive Romel Rupnarain tried to justify the government's position on the project. He refused to accept that the government needs to be more forthcoming since large sums of taxpayers' dollars will have to be repaid by the Inter-Development Bank. Yes, just we just wanted to add our voice to the growing sentiments um, of civil society, the religious community, the business community, who've all come out in support of this project. We need transparency. It must be debated in Parliament. The tender must go out that anybody could tender for it. Rupnarain said this project will benefit all Guyanese, so his party shuttled in supporters from all across the country to protest with the hope of forcing the opposition to rethink its position. Both the APNU and AFC said they are not in a hurry to pass the legislation to deal with the hydro project.